Okay, folks, so I have been getting quite a few uh, requests to weigh in on this latest letter from Ken Kratz. And yes, I know I'm very close to the screen. Uh, I'm not going to apologize for that. <laughs> I'm in bed right now. Uh, today is my day off. So, but I wanted to weigh in on this just because it's just absolutely insane. And I'm going to go ahead and, uh, you know, read off this letter. It says, Dear Mr. Avery, I got your letter dated August 28th, 2015, wherein you tell me that your visitor list is full and ask if I checked out other fingerprints found on Teresa Hallbach's car, telling me that these people could have set you up for this. I apologize for misunderstanding your letters from a couple of years ago, as I thought you were interested in being honest about what happened and finally telling the whole story to someone. Since I'm the person who probably knows more about your case than anyone else, I hope that you would choose me to tell your story to. Unfortunately, you only want to continue your nonsense about being set up. That's too bad because you had one opportunity to finally tell all the details, but now that will never happen. By the way, the difference between you and famous convicted murderers from the past is they told their whole truthful story to someone who then wrote a book about what actually happened and people got to understand both sides. I was willing to do that for you, but if you are going to continue to lie about what happened between you and Ms. Halbach, I am not interested. If you change your mind and want to tell your honest story someday, please contact me. Sincerely yours, Ken Kratz. Kratz, are you fucking shitting me with this bullshit? <sighs> okay. Folks, how many times have I told Mr. Kratz, oh, it went out again. Where is my light? <sighs> how many times have I told Mr. Kratz, to learn to shut his damn mouth because apparently the boy don't know what the hell that means. Mr. Kratz, what the fuck is wrong with you? You honestly told Stephen Avery that you wanted to write the book about his story in a letter. In a fucking letter. And make a profit off of this. Probably because your fucking law practice is now in the shitter because of your behavior. Okay, first of all, if anybody gets to write this book, it's me. <laughs> I called it. <laughs> Second of all. You are a snake. In fact, you give snakes a bad name. You are a pathetic, pot-bellied little weasel from hell. And you desperately, desperately need a timeout because you need to start using your fucking head. You were the district attorney, asshole. It is your job to investigate all the evidence, not just the evidence that supports your theories. And you didn't do that. You never investigated all of the evidence. You just investigated the evidence that you knew would support your theory because you yourself made sure it was put there. And now you want to fucking talk shit to Stephen Avery? Your reputation is in the toilet and it's in the toilet because of your actions. Your business is going to shit. You're a joke in the legal community and it's all because of your actions during this case. Now, if you would like to attempt to defend yourself and redeem yourself, I invite you to do an interview with me via internet connection and let's talk about these details of yours that you are convinced are proof that Stephen Avery is guilty. 
I will happily do an interview with you, Mr. Kratz. And if you convince me, I will fight on your side. On the other hand, if you don't convince me, you need to see what you can do about reopening that case file and investigating the evidence that you failed to investigate from the get-go. That's my deal, Kratz. And I've got a hell of a following and it is only getting bigger, baby. So I invite you on my channel. I invite you to join me on my channel, on my YouTube channel, and in, in, conduct an interview with me. And let's talk about these points that you are convinced prove Stephen Avery's guilt. Let's talk about this, Kratz, because I'm sorry, but that letter to Stephen Avery, that that's even more proof that you're a slimy dog. You know that you fucked up. You are now starting to see the light. At, but God forbid you swallow your fucking pride and admit you fucked up. You're trying to convince him to, to admit guilt to something that he didn't do. How do you think it's going to look when Stephen Avery gets a new trial and is found not guilty and your verdict is overturned? How do you think that's going to impact your career then, Kratz? That's my challenge to you. Agree to an interview. Let's talk. Let's talk. That's my challenge. I challenge you, Kratz. Let's talk and let's see if we can't ferret out the truth here. Thank you all very much for watching. We'll see you in my next video.